you're about to see is brought to you by Lights Family Motors, 2065 Hillsboro Boulevard in Manchester. <laughs> This is Samantha reporting for Thunder TV. At some point in our lives, we've all seen bullying occur. And right now, the Coffee County School System is taking a stand to prevent bullying from an early age. The program they are currently implementing is the Obeas Bullying Prevention Program. And in just a few moments, we will hear from Priscilla Van Treese, the Coffee County School's Coordinator of Student Support Services, as she tells us what's involved in this new bullying prevention program and how the community can get involved in 2014. Priscilla Van Treese, Coffee County Schools. I'm the coordinator of student support services and we're implementing a new program here called the Oveus Bullying Prevention Program. It's the most widely used program in the world. It was developed by Dr. Oveus in Norway and there's a ton of research to, to back up uh, the effectiveness of this. I worked in a school where this, uh, we, when we implemented it, made a huge change. Dr. McFall took this program to two different school systems where it was also successful. It not only reduces bullying, but when children have a better climate at their school, their grades are better too. And it also, what, what is taught in this program follows a child through their life. Because as we all know, bullying doesn't stop at school, it's in the workplace too. Although it's simple, it's effective, and it involves everyone. We have already trained teams from our uh, elementary and middle schools. We did that a couple weeks ago, and those teams are teachers, parents, and community members. After we roll this out, when school starts next year, we'll be having uh, public meetings where people can go to their, the school nearest them to hear what it's all about and how they can get involved for the whole, the entire community. We want everyone to know about it and support it. And the way this program will be effective for these students that are involved for the rest of their lives. Uh, the, there are four rules that everyone is taught, and that is we do not bully. And we will try to help students who are bullied. And we'll try to include students who are left out. And if, if you are bullied or someone you know is bullied, it's important to tell an adult at school and an adult at home. On this chart, we have the bully in the center, the person who bullies all the way around to the person who intervenes. So first of all, bullying is uh, when someone repeatedly and on purpose says or does something mean or harmful to the person. So if this person's being bullied, the bully, then the people that follow him, that will support him and participate in the bullying, and then the people that support it, but they are, they're they not really going to take part in it. And then the passive supporters, they don't say anything, they don't cheer it on, but they like it. And then the disengaged onlookers, they're in the middle. Then the students who possibly could be defenders, but they aren't sure what to do, and then the student that defends. So what we're trying to do is take all these circles and move them over here. We're going to give uh, students the tools to know how to defend, whether that's saying something or going to an adult, but so that there are more children here. The danger, the research shows the danger in not intervening is that these kids that are, in, in, they're empathic right now, but if they're exposed constantly to bullying, they become less concerned. And we want people to become more concerned and we want to teach them how to do it. So that's what we're doing. Bullying is harmful. Uh, students don't don't get over bullying. I mean, anybody that's been bullied remembers it vividly. Uh, and the child who's bullied can develop physical symptoms, miss school, psychosomatic illness, depression, and decreasing grades. But mostly, the emotional stress is what's so bad. It can also affect the kids that watch. It can be stressful and depressing to the students that see it and don't know what to do. And uh, students who bully, you know, they come from different places, but research does show that students who bully tend to, tend to come from homes where there's a lot of physical discipline and very strict rules, or homes where there's very little attention paid to them or they're given lots of freedom. Our goal for the program, we're trying to uh, 
course, reduce the bullying among the students and prevent any new bullying issues from arising and teaching our students better peer relations, which they already have strong relationships and good strong relationships. We just want to increase that. Uh, there'll be an opportunity for everyone in the community to be involved in this. We'll be doing the rollout in the fall when school starts back. There'll be school meetings uh, for parents and community members, and we'll have a community meeting as well where people can come and learn more about it. We're very excited about the Oveas Bullying Prevention Program. Uh, we just talked about a few of the highlights today. There's much more involved, and this is not a quick fix. This is not here today, gone next year. This is something we're going to live by and have implemented in our schools for years to come. And it's not just for students, it's for the entire community.